everyone. So I did this um, play on words for Bums and Roses, uh, considering I've been homeless for uh, a few years, um, and finally I'm not anymore, uh, thank the Lord. Um, and so um, years ago, probably like three years ago, when I knew that I was going to start hitting the cement floor, um, and I wasn't going to be able to couch surf anymore, and I didn't have a place to go, um, I had tried to go back home for some time and when I ended up trying to go back home my sister was really adamant about not letting me back in the house and rightfully so she was right and so um, she would always say I went back probably the first second time third time maybe eight or nine times and she was like you need to get your shit together and little by little I, I try to get my shit together um, and so for some reason, it didn't click to me. It always felt like I was being rejected and that I had to do something to make her happy or even make anybody else happy for that matter. And for, um, once I got over the victimization of hearing get your shit together, I ended up understanding the need for me to really get my shit together. And that took some time. And so um, over that period of time I had been hearing these words in my head and I had learned it from a cooking channel it was um, in the culinary world the word mais and plas I'm probably saying it right or mais in place or mais and plas it means to prepare and so a lot of times um, you won't see me do that when I'm in the kitchen um, I'll just cook as I go but a lot of really good cooks they'll prep their food they'll lay everything out and then they'll turn the heat on and then little by little they'll add uh, you know everything they they need um, because they've already prepared it and so that's basically what my yeast and plus is uh, it's that French term that I had learned on uh, the cooking show and so uh, uh, oh again and again I was um, I in my journey to get my shit together and learn more about myself, I always thought my ease and applause. And so when I had ended up coming here to Arizona, I had every intention to get a job, stay focused, pay this and that, um, you know, do good and stuff like that. And it never really worked out the way I thought it would work out. And so I learned that the ingredients and things in my kitchen and the whole uh, image of a house was really probably the most important thing and it really has nothing to do with foundation a lot of us have a strong foundation and understanding of what we need in terms of uh, having a good life but some of us don't know what those things entail and so sometimes building the walls, building a brick wall, sometimes there's mold in a wall, sometimes you don't have the right people around to help you build the, the things you need. Uh, it takes time and money and it takes a lot of honesty. And so over a period of time, um, that would be my biggest words, words or words of encouragement is to, if you're in the process of trying to get your shit together, always remember to my use and plots it's a really good thing, um, at least for me, and has worked for me to learn how to get my shit together. So good luck, and I'll talk to you.